Our next champion is a clumsy but well-meaning paladin who's just trying to atone for his past. Egbert stumbled into journeys with the Oxventurers and now uses his powers to try to keep the team safe, even as he's impulsively running into danger first. Egbert is a tanking, support, healing, and goldfine champion who constantly struggles to atone for the past. He gains atonement points for every lawful champion in the formation and loses them for every chaotic champion. Fortunately, his damage buff is based on the number of atonement points he has squared. That means filling the formation with his chaotic Oxventurer's crew will push his atonement points into the negative, but his buff will still be positive. Many of Egbert's other abilities use the absolute value of the number of atonement points he has, so once again his goal is to maximize the number of lawful or chaotic champions in the formation. That absolute value will affect how much healing he will offer when he uses Lay on Hands, how much he increases the health of all other champions with his friendly protection, and how much more gold find his golden scales will provide. He'll also increase the effect of Atone for the Past for each enemy on screen, because he believes the more the merrier. Egbert's first specialization determines if neutral champions will add or subtract from his atonement points. His second specialization lets him focus more on support, healing, or gold find. While he always has some homemade bombs to throw at the nearest enemy, if things get dire, he can seek divine intervention from Lavash Mauve. This ultimate attack causes the epic sight of Lavash Mauve to appear in the sky, inspiring the champions while forcing the enemies to take more damage. Will you surround Egbert with lawful champions so he can find the atonement he's searching for? Or will you enjoy chaotic formations filled with the Ox Venturer's crew? You'll make that choice when Egbert becomes available during High Harvest Tide.